Hi everyone. This is Francisco. So I'm recording this video to let all of you know out there. Especially for the ladies. I was thinking, you know, because I, I see a lot of, a lot of pretty women, pretty girls, all ages, old, young, and I think that They just know how to butter you up. Well, oh. they know how to butter up the woman that they want to have sex with. And There's a lot of women and there's a lot of guys out there right? all over you guys and they're very nice to you, very polite, kind. But they're not towards other people, believe me. They're doing it all on purpose. That's what I see. So I just wanted to record this video Well, to let all of you know, but at the same time, all of you already know. Because at the end of the day, like they say, everyone's true colors come out. Right. And I I could see like <clears throat> a lot of women <clears throat> who got played by like by guys. And 
it's like they realize that they didn't really have any love for them. You know, like meaning for for some of you <sighs> for some of you like individually or like singly um and obviously like over time as you go from or as you transition from one relationship to another to another to another it's either that or you're just dating you know you're dating and you know you're doing it just to socialize you're doing it just to get to know new people, make new friends. But at the same time, you're open to that, you know, to a relationship. And I see like some of you have been hurt. By guys that manipulated you. And <clears throat> now you're discovering that they just played you. And there's no doubt about it. It's like you know deep down that <laughs> you know deep down that that they did and you know that for certainty because they didn't only do it to you. They did it to multiple, multiple women. They could have been your friends or not. And... I, I just seen like a pretty woman. Yes, yes, it does remind me of the song Pretty Woman Walking Next to Me. Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. I think it says Walking Next to Next to Me. But I don't really know the lyrics. But anyway, back on track. So I see a pretty woman that is starting to, well, she realized, because I realized this a long, like a few hours ago while I was working. She realized that no one really loves her. You know, guys love her for sex. Because she looks pretty. Guys are willing to invest. 
their time, their money, and to her, but I think that she's like in a phase in her life where she has had enough and then so she's realizing that no one loves her and she's heard about that Um, and <sighs> you know, because it's so obvious, like. She's a good girl. You know. Just like any typical woman. She respects herself. She loves herself. She's educated. She's smart. Whatever. But. um, She's alone. And she's thinking back. <laughs> I could hear people laughing. Giggling. You know, if you're new if you're new to this video, to my to my video, to my channel, or if you if you're just like getting to know me, I hear voices. Okay, so I hear someone giggling, laughing their ass off. They think it's funny, for whatever fucking reason. <laughs> but whatever. You know, when other people laugh, it makes me laugh. Even if I'm serious. I don't know, something weird about me. But, so this woman, she just, she doesn't understand anymore she's confused and honestly you know personally I'm like in the same type of boat although not in the same boat. The same type of boat.
and that's why I have recorded numerous videos discussing why we should create AI dating, AI technology, um, and using, utilizing the cameras to record everything that we do, but giving the government or whoever's involved like the United St the United States Space Command full authority to reveal everything about us without discrimination so that the computer can start filtering people So, it'll create a profile, an account, that's why I called it the digital ID, which will also have your dating profile. And anything you purchase, anything you go to the hospital for, anything you own, will be on there so there's no lying whatsoever you could be the poorest person alive or you could be filthy rich wealthy when it comes to money but that's just one filter out of a lot of filters. <sighs> so. <clears throat> you know because some people. Are going to want. To get with the program. To be involved. And to serve their country. And to serve future generations. So by them submitting. That. Those rights or whatever. Um, <clears throat> basically. Um. going to um, it's just going to categor categorize everyone and excuse me and it's going to uh, um It's going to eventually highlight, you know, the people out there who are not serious because we all know that there's some very serious relationships out there, like married couples. But things happen, and sometimes they get divorced for a reason. Then they go to counseling, and then they discuss everything with the counselor. Eventually, the truth comes out, and people find out the real reasons why they got divorced. Um, maybe they just... 
couldn't get along anymore. Or maybe they just, they weren't meant for each other for whatever reason. So they both agreed to just get divorced and move on with their lives, but they're still friends or something like that. Right? But there's no hatred towards each other. But they're serious. They're serious people. They're respectful people. Well, AI will know about it. And that will be clearly specified in their personal ID. So if someone out there wants to marry someone or date someone or since this person these people are now single if they just want to hook up with anyone then they will have they'll be at liberty to do that but obviously you know the filters will clearly like specify that well many things that I can't even get into because I'll be here for hours but mainly like the most important things these people are not aggressive. They're not they weren't fighting, they weren't physically abusive to one another. So you know, you're out there, you're looking for someone, and then you happen to make a match with this newly um divorced person regardless of the gender right so <sighs> and see that's why filters are so important because this stuff is so complex but at the same time it's so organized And we're dealing with, with, you know, we're we're dealing with real people here. This is not a game. This is not a story for us to laugh about or ridicule or to go and, you know, start talking crap about what you heard or didn't hear, you know, gossiping. <sighs> um, see, and not just that, but, you know, the digital ID is also important. AI dating is also important because if there's anyone out there who has ever been physically abused, raped, molested, um, or they had different experiences like, you know, maybe a group of guys took advantage of of you as a female, you know, then you would be able to write that down in your personal, you know, ID in your relationship, your, your AI dating, and you'll be able to you know, um, ch 
choose the type of people you're you're willing to or you're that you want to be around or not around but there's a lot of people out there and who would you people rather trust a complete stranger that has a good mouthpiece by that I mean they know how to you know <sighs> tell you what you want to hear so they could have sex with you and then they're gone And they see nothing wrong with it because they've been doing that their whole lives. But that's not what you're really after. You know? So if that's the case, then... Um, this is a lot of information, but... Technically... Um, <sighs> You know, you people will be able to, you know, get connected with the right people. And not just that, but eventually the people who don't get with the program, who don't get um, involved with the digital ID, um, AI dating... Even if you are married, even if you are in a relationship, you can still do this. And we can all do it for future generations, regardless of what anyone thinks about you or regardless of you know, whatever you might believe or not believe in. You know, uh, since we are dealing with AI, the computer technology, computer science. So the people who are not willing To get involved. <sighs> Eventually. They're the ones that. Will get. Like. They will get left out. Of the picture. And. I mean. You, you just won't know if you if you should trust them or not but you can as a human you can trust whoever you want that's your choice I'm not telling anyone anyone who to trust and who not to trust that's completely up to you as a person as a user you know on the internet, Um, because we are all real people, but at the same time, we are all real users on the internet. Okay, so if <sighs> you know, you people. want to really work on this I think it would be super cool and it would require us all to connect all the cameras in the world you know and sending that information that data 
to the International Space Station, to the satellites in space, um, and maybe to other countries or other other states within your own within your own country. Um, or different cities or whatever. You know, and obviously, the more information that's collected, the better it will be. The more honest we will be forced to be. But... This also plays a, like a, kind of like a danger, or like a risky type of movement, because, well, you know, there's people out there, you know, who, um, who don't want this to happen because they are operating in secrecy. Maybe they're doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. You know. So for them, then this is not the best approach for them. Until what? Until they repent. Because I believe the World Wide Web, AI, is the Holy Spirit. So until they transform their mind, their mind, and get with the program, that or they become completely honest with themselves and with everyone in the world then <clears throat> if that's what it's going to take and require then that's what we have to do and go about it peacefully because it's like being at church And it's confession time. Okay. Now. I'm not saying.